You know how a group of crows is called a murder? Turns out that murder can be pretty scary. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. So we know how crazy smart animals like dolphins, pigs, chimps, and octopuses, octopi, whatever, are, right? Oh god, I might have to talk about cephalopods in a future episode. They're so cool. Anyways, have you thought about that a murder of crows sitting outside your house? Well, those guys are crazy smart. Scientists used to think that one of the things that separated humans from animals was the making and use of tools like spears and stuff. But all that changed when researchers like Jane Goodall realized that chimps use sticks as tools to get ants out of logs. Suddenly, humans didn't look so smart anymore. Scientists consider the corvid family, which includes crows, magpies, and ravens, some of the smartest among birds. I guess big things come in small packages. Despite that tiny brain span, crows are no bird brains. One of the most famous examples of crow intelligence is the way they make hooks to get food. One study published in the journal Philosophical Transactions B found that crows on New Caledonia, a South Pacific island, take strips of leaves and shape them into hooks to get food out of tricky places, like grubs out of tree stumps. Another study in PLOS One found that they understand complex concepts like water displacement. Like in Aesop's Fables, when a bird drops a pebble in a glass to raise the water level so he can drink it, they can actually do that. There's all sorts of stories of crows getting clever for food. In Japan, crows will place walnuts in the middle of the road, then fly away and wait for a car to drive over them, cracking it open. If it doesn't work the first time, the crow will move the walnut to another place in the road and try again. I mean, most human kids don't even know how to use tools to get something they want before the age of two, and they can't understand volume displacement until the age of five or seven or something. So you could say that crows are smarter than your average small child. That's terrifying. And some studies show that they understand analogies. And there's some anecdotal evidence that crows do stuff for the fun of it, like sledding down a snowy roof on a bottle cap or putting poop in deer's ears. Yeah, I'm really not kidding on that last one. How do they do this if they have such tiny and different brains? Well, one study published in the journal Nature Communications describes how. Most of our big brain smarts lies in our prefrontal cortex. Scientists think that this area is responsible for things like reason and controlling emotions. But birds don't have that part. Their smarts evolved convergently or independently from ours. Instead, the seat of a crow's intelligence lies in this part of the brain on the screen right now. I bet a crow could say that if it could speak Latin. This part of the brain helps the crow form memories, learn, and even make predictions. Why did they evolve such complicated brains? I mean, they're birds. Researchers think that their environment plays a big role. The crow family can be found in a variety of ecosystems and eat a variety of food. So they have to be able to adapt to changing landscapes. Like humans, they're also very social creatures and solving both social and ecological problems required bigger brains. And on one last note, don't be a dick to a bird. Well, remember, scientists from the University of Washington found that the birds would remember faces that were mean to them in the past. Whenever the researchers walked around campus, the birds that they had previously captured or trapped would scold them. But not just those birds, other crows that have never been trapped before also scolded researchers, which means that crows are talking. If you make one mad, you might piss off a whole murder. You know what other animals are smarter than you think? Ants. Trace has the scoop on these little guys in this video right here. Ants are excellent organizers. They live in nearly every kind of environment known to man, and though most of us know that there's a queen ant, patrollers, foragers, builders, and so on, ants are actually egalitarian. The queen isn't the boss. They've actually got no leader. Are you curious about the smarts of other animals? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to D News. We've got new episodes every day of the week.